Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to install mods on Terraria servers versions 1.4 and above. Firstly, in order to mod your Terraria game, you need to make sure you have Tmod Loader downloaded on Steam. We've actually made a tutorial on how to do that, so if you're interested, press the I in the top right. However, if you've already got that all set up, all you have to do is open up Steam and press play on Tmod Loader. When the application is fully booted up, press on the Workshop tab and here you'll see a couple of tabs. You can either click on Download Mods or Mod Packs. In this video, I'll be clicking on the Download Mods tab, which will open up a Mod Browser tab. It'll take a little while to load all the data, but when it's done, you'll see mods there. You'll also also see that there's a search bar at the top, there you can search up any mod you want. When you find one that you like the sound of, press the download with dependencies button. That will instantly download the mod. However, you still have to enable the mod so you need to go back. Click on workshop again, but this time press manage mods. All you have to do here is press on the disabled button to enable the mod. If you have multiple mods here, you can enable them individually. After you've done that though, you want to press the open mods folder button. That'll pop open this files explorer window. What you want to do for now is minimize it as we're going to be using it in the next step. Firstly, you'll have to head over to the server.pro website. There you should have a VPS server in order to follow the next few steps. We've actually made a tutorial on how to purchase a VPS server, so we'll leave the link to that video in the description. However, if you've already got one, head to its control panel. Then you want to click on the create a service tab on the left. When this panel appears, make sure the service is set to Terraria, the type is set to Tmod Loader, and then you can select which version you want your server to be. We recommend setting this to the most recent version. Afterwards, below there are some configurations you can make to your server if you'd like. For example, instead of 8 max players, I'll be setting that to 6 and I'll change my world name to Clary's World. When you're happy with the settings, press install for your service to be created. You should wait a couple seconds for it to finish booting up and that's it, your service is created. When it's done, click on the service and head into its files tab. There will be a mods folder which you want to click onto. Afterwards, open up the files explorer window you minimized earlier. As you can see, there's a folder here, but we can't drag this into the service mod folder, so when you come across two folders, make sure you click the latest version 1 and that's where you'll find the correct .tmod file. If you can't see the extensions on files, press the ribbon button on the files explorer, click on view and then check the file name extensions box. That should then show you the extensions. What you want to do when you find the right file is drag it onto the mods folder on your server. Then you want to go back and also drag the enabled.json file onto the mods folder. After that's done, you want to restart your service. Upon the restart completing, your mods have been downloaded so you can join your server. You can do so by opening your tmod loader window and pressing multiplayer. Then you press join via IP and select the character you want to play with. For the server address, go back to your server's main dashboard and copy the host name or IP address there. You just have to paste it back into your game and press enter. When it asks you to enter the server port, you head back into your service's dashboard and copy the server port on the right. Paste that number in your game again and press enter to join your server. It's as easy as that, you're now in. It's important to make sure the mods downloaded on the server are the only ones enabled on your client though. If you've also downloaded other mods, make sure that you disabled them in the mods list before joining. Lastly, your friends also have to have the mods downloaded on their client if they want to join. Well that's it for this video. If you have any questions make sure to leave them down below and if you enjoyed this video subscribe to see more from our channel. If you have any further questions or problems don't hesitate to contact us. We will leave a link in the description. Thank you for watching.